Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever may never see this, this is Z3 Alexander Faust, the Whiff, come back to you with some more Warhammer 40k. Going to be doing the Imperial Guard, Astra Militarum. This is one of the two top armies. Ravenwing doesn't count, in my opinion. So, Iron Hands and uh, Imperial Guard. I am running a substitute for Lord Solar Leontis. I do a Sly Marble here, Ursula Creed, Kazrakin, and other stuff that may not be available for people, officially released, etc. So... I do have some stuff here that you, if you play it on TTS, you do need to double check with your opponent uh, if they're cool with it. I do have things, I believe, sized correctly, so it should be good to play. Everything should be good, but, you know, it's technically not the right thing, so with a grain of salt. With that said, I have three 10-man squads of Attilan Rough Riders. Um, they, of course, have the Hunting Lance with Frag and Meltatip. These dudes are so good. They trade up way too well. Oh, but they're squishy. But yeah, but a five-man squad can just instantly trade up easily. It can kill a uh, Lehman Rouse, a tank commander, easily. It, it's stupid. They trade up too well. They get double to triple or more their value. Uh, two things of Kasserkin with Hotshot Last Guns. One definitely has, of course, the... Where are you? The Barbican's Key, and then uh, it actually has Veteran Gorillas, and then the other one has uh, Heirloom Weapons. So, you use the Barbican's Key, round one, and then you're just going to hopefully move these dudes up to safely get them up with the Heirloom Weapons, so they can, in round two, you do it all over again. So you get two strong rounds of Kazarkin in case this one gets blown up, because hopefully it'll piss off your opponent, they target it, they blow it up, that's fine. They didn't go into other things. Uh, Death Corps... These are just, again, troops that are going to be obsec, and because they're a bit tankier and you have the med pack, you can kind of use them to shield the wall or um, just soak up some fire while you hold an objective with them. Because they have mini trans as well, so they turn twos away. So strength six and above weapons, if they roll a two, disappears. Uh, Melta, rolled a two, bunch of twos, twos go away. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Uh, shock troops, sergeants, two ten man squad uh, sergeants, two ten man uh, shock troops, Cadian, I believe. Um, they just get exploding sixes. You know, it's nice. If, in case you lose other stuff, you can buff them. Buff them with what? I'm glad you asked. Ursula Creed. Ursula Creed and Lord Solar Leontis. You have a lot of combinations you could do here because of the bouncing orders that can bounce once, along with the tank commander. Tank commander has a blast cannon because you can upgrade it with the relic gatekeeper. Very nice, and you can buff it. Further, further, with Lord Solar giving him reroll ones because he is a uh, uh, officer, so you would need to use Lord Solar to do that. And then he could pass orders to these two vanquishers, which will then uh, bounce it. Um, and then one of them does have elite sharpshooters, and so this is the better one because um, you'll get reroll ones with both, but this one can just reroll a single one anyway. Just in case you get a 2, because you are using the turret weapon, if it's base kit health, it'll upgrade to plus 1, so it'll be on a 3 up. So, you only miss on 1s and 2s. And then, even then, if you need it for this one, guess what? Now you have command reroll, and if you have extra CP, which you should, you can't reroll twice, but you have the ability twice in your turn. Anyway, you're going to use it for other things. More so, the Kasserkin. Um... This army is insane right now because there's a meme joke I have where I hate uh, marker lights in the sense that they turn Tau shooting into decent slash good shooting, but you need to combo to make it good. Same with Craftworld, Eldar, and some other armies. You have to combo and do com and do buffs layering to make something really spooky or really good. Um, guard makes stuff straight up OP. There's just some really good combinations right now. Um, Lord Solark has just too many good combinations for his point value and his stats. The Kasserkin combo is very nasty for its point value, etc. It's very efficient. And Kasserkin trade way above their pay grade. Um, there's other things I can rant about. That's the main gist of it. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like this army and you want the Bowscribe list, go down in the description below. There's a Google Drive link with this and every other army faction in the game. You just plug and play and check them all out. Eventually, I'm going to upload a mod to Tabletop Simulator so people can just plug and play and grab these as well. They're all going to be pre l scribed and ready to go. If you like these, uh, please say hello. I like good natured comments in the uh, comment down section. And I like constructive feedback as long as it's good natured. And with that said, game on, gamers. Take care.